Welcome back Stone Posters. We're starting a new project today. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe. It's probably going to take a few segments. So make sure that you subscribe, turn on the notifications so that you won't miss anything. We're going to be working on a jackrabbit today. Then we're going to add some antlers to it and make it a jackalope. So we've got our form here. I got this from McKenzie Taxidermy. It's pretty rough. We're going to have to sand it a little bit, smooth down. There's kind of that ridge there, sand off these letters. Not too impressed with them. I ordered some duck heads and been waiting for those for about a month. But that's beside the point. So we're going to sand this down and then we're going to start skinning our jackrabbit. All right, we got our form all sanded down. Got the seams sanded nice and smooth. Now we're going to go ahead and add the eyes. We're just going to take some clay, make a little ball, put it right there in the eye socket. And then we've got some 16 millimeter brown eyes that we're going to put in. So we'll go ahead and get that started. So like I said, just take a little ball of clay. You might have to work it a little bit. It's probably a little too much. Set that into your eye socket and then you're going to take your eye and work that into the clay. I've got a little divot in the back there so the clay kind of has something to grip onto. You're just going to push that in just like that and then just take your fingers and kind of smooth out that clay. Work it up into the eye socket, smooth out the clay. Make sure that your eyes in there really good. Um, it also helps if you have like a little ice pick or they make little bamboo tools and those help you just something smooth and pointed and that'll help you get more get into the tight spots. Make sure that you can get all the clay nice and smoothed out around the eye. So you're gonna have something that ends up looking about like that. I'm gonna do a little bit more touch up work, get it all nice and smooth, but that's about how you're gonna end up looking. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a little slot in the lips and in the nose. So when you have your hide, you can tuck the lips and nose in there and get, your, get everything to stay put where it should be. For that, I'm just going to use a Dremel with a drill you can also take a knife and carve it out. It's just a little bit easier with the Dremel. You just want to follow the lines that are on there. You kind of see it, it goes to about right there. So you just want to drill in about, about a quarter inch and you'll drill in there. So you'll end up looking something like that. A little bit of, a little bit cut out into the nose to kind of mimic a nostril and cut into the lips so that you can tuck the lips. Now our mannequin's all set up and we're ready to start working on the actual rabbit. All right, so here's our rabbit. It was roadkill. It's a little bit rougher than I thought it was, but I think it's gonna be all right. 
Um, if you do pick up roadkill, make sure that I know like here we have to have a salvage tag. So make sure that if your state requires that, that you get everything that you need. Make sure that you're legal. But here's our rabbit. It's a little rough, but it, it should work. So we're just starting to kind of skin up in the middle here to get our cape. Um, the other side was, is kind of torn, so I think it's far enough back though that we'll be alright. But what you're going to do is you're just going to keep working your hide up, just like you're skinning anything else. I started, I'm about right in the middle of the ribs here is where I cut it, so that's about how far you need to go forward so that you make sure that you have enough and we're just gonna skin it skin it make sure that you don't put any holes in it and you just work that skin off the carcass all right i was able to skin down far enough to make it a little bit more manageable and cut off the rest of the body so now I can work my way down around the legs here. Jackrabbits have super thin skin, so make sure that you're extra careful when you're skinning one. They, it's very easy to cut through them and put extra holes in them. So just be careful doing that. Make sure that you realize how thin that they are. All right, so I got the rabbit skinned. Um, I didn't video it because once I started cutting into it, it was pretty obvious that it had gotten hit a lot harder than I thought it did. Um, when I got to the head, it actually just, the skull completely fell apart. So it's not a good one to learn on. It's not a good one to teach on. If you don't know how to skin a rabbit or any other animal for taxidermy, I would suggest watching a, another video on how to do that. Learn the basics. Rabbits are pretty easy. They have really thin skin, but they're not terrible. So I've got the rabbit completely skinned. I started fleshing on it. We're about done fleshing. I've got the mannequin already sanded down. The eyes are nice and hard now, nice and set. We've got a little set of antlers ready to go on them. Hopefully it looks something like that. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of modifications on the mannequin to kind of get a flat spot and work on the antler bases a little bit but other than that everything's going good so on the next video we'll get it all mounted up so make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss the second video to this we'll see you then